We'll start at the top with the very best, and that means Ascot, and that of course means Altio John and the uh, Clarence uh, House will debate about the, the small field and uh, the grade one nature of that as a contest. But what it did was give us another opportunity to watch, admire John, uh, and appreciate Altio. And plenty of people with their paddock side and, and race course side to do just that. Yeah, 17 on the spin now, in the last four years. And he's just scaring away the opposition in this race. We had four horses left in at the five-day stage last Monday. At least with Underso in there, it mm. looked as if we would get a race of sorts. But I'm afraid it was just more like a victory lap of honour in the end. And that one not running. And I suppose, given his ability, his rating, his fitness, uh, you had Fox Norton coming back from a yep. break, so he was always liable to be uh, rusty. The, the word was he was fit, but perhaps not as fit as he needed uh, to be. And of course, he had Diego, who just simply wasn't good enough. Is mm. this the sort of performance that you would expect? And how much are you factoring into the fact that Altior had to make his own running? Given the fact that he, he's only made his running mm. once or twice in the past, yeah. I think one was his, his chasing debut at Kempton, when it was a match, and the other one was the game spirit chase a couple of years ago. He always chases the pace. He mm. always sits prominently second or third. So given what the trainer and jockey have said, since I'm happy to go along with that, there seems to be no problem at all has come to light. You have a slight concern. Is there a reason? Is something hurting them? But that clearly hasn't been the case. Uh, so it was just a question of enjoying him on Saturday and enjoying the, the performance. Very good run at second place, I have to say, by Fox Norton. Mm. First run back for 13 months. Obviously, he was never going to get anywhere near the winner, but connections would be delighted by the way he's come back. Yeah, very much so. So that's 12 chase wins on the bounce, 17 in a row, three and a half years since he last tasted uh, defeat. Do you know who rode him that day, Punchestown? Was it Noel Feely? It was our very own Kate Harrington. Oh, right. Would you believe it? Sorry, Kate. <laughs> Don't mean to dump you in it. But yeah, Kate was the, the last person to, to ride Altia when he tasted uh, defeat. Uh, they've said, they've said um, the Fox Norton team, that they definitely will not play yeah. ball again. And it, it, they'll do whatever Altia doesn't. doesn't do. yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. I think is fair, fair comment. And also, the natural race for Fox Norton now looks to be the Ryanair chase. Don't forget they tried Fox Norton over three miles in the King George when it was mm. lasting 13 months ago. <clears throat> it put in a fantastic performance one on the million chase a couple of years ago as well, over two and a half. He's uh, followed in the, the footsteps, the hoofprints of Game Hem in the 1880s and Gangridge at the turn of the 20th century. He's now chasing big bucks for 18 yeah. wins in a row. But what about, besides the history, the class, the performance, what about this race, which was formerly a handicap, mm. running a, in his current format as a grade one? Yeah, we've had so many short price favourites now down the years, and we know as a handicap chase from years ago, the limited handicap chase with Desert Orchid with a great mm. battle against Panto Prince. There's been others as well with CO with Azerti up and other ones as well. And you got double figure fields on quite a few occasions. Yeah. At one time or another in the past 20 odd years, the Tingle Creek was a limited handicap, as was uh, mm. this race, and also the game Spirit next month. They've all changed. The graded chases have also got, now, apart from having all those three, they've also now got the celebration chase at the end of uh, April at Sandung, which has been a newish race over the last 15 years. I just think if it's not this one here, then the game spirit can go back to being a, a, a handicap chase. I think it's definitely up for discussion. There's no doubt about it. And I, I think as an Australia, as we bring up surname, by the way, talk about a, a graded horse, yeah. John, in a handicap, which is what this turned out uh, to be. 